soldiers, sailors, and airmen of the Allied Expeditionary Force. You are about to embark upon the great crusade toward which we have striven these many months. The eyes of the world are upon you. The hopes and prayers of liberty-loving people everywhere march with you. I've seen combat in Afghanistan and Iraq. I haven't seen combat to the scale of what they saw on the first day they jumped into Normandy. There's just a lot of emotion, but a grim determination that they're going to beat this enemy no matter what. However successful the jump was the night before, it doesn't matter a hill of beans if they had not been able to seize the town of Harrington. It was a key crossroads. It controlled access to both Utah and Omaha Beach. Whichever side controls it has a market advantage. Carentan's going to become important. The Germans have decided is an important piece of terrain, too. They made the decision to reinforce Carentan and fight to the last man. There is no tomorrow. There is no time to fix this. It has to happen now. When you see how hard the Germans fought to keep Carentan and how hard it was for the Americans to take Carentan, then you realize that it's the entire American invasion that was at stake. Somebody's going to have to make some of those, those sacrifices. If you are a leader in the 101st, you are the first one out. You are leading from the front, and you're leading the way. Follow me. We're going. Things did not go exactly as planned. Robert Cole, he had 732 men on June the 8th. By the early hours of June the 12th, he will have 123 men standing. Every time you look at the soldiers that came before you, you can't help but take inspiration from it. They said in World War II, when the American soldier went, freedom follows. At the end of the day, it comes down to a group of paratroopers fixing bayonets and assaulting a farmhouse. Man, it's a pretty, pretty amazing story.